Well, hello, good people. How are you all doing? Chris here again, back with another charity shop adventure in my local town. Starting off with some coats in a higher than normal priced shop. Is that fair to say? You'll see what I mean. Only your coat, yeah, £25. Pretty sure that was a ladies' one as well. It was pretty tall. Now, given that we are coming, well, we are in winter now, um, you know, you can expect the coats to be priced a bit higher because, you know, normal folk, not just resellers, are going to be looking out for these things. So, you know, happy to pay a bit more than we are, perhaps. But uh, even so, these prices, look, I don't mean to bash, but where are they getting them from? I don't know. Certainly not eBay. I think they're just bringing them out of a hat. This was a Scopes jacket. I've seen people pick up Scopes before, haven't picked it up myself. But <laughs> for 20 quid, nope, that's going right back. Let's see what else they got. Is there going to be something good in here? What's this one? Heli Hansen. Good brand. Sells okay. Depends what it is. This was a nice sort of, uh, almost like a sort of sailing jacket. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, no chance. It had some stains on it as well, so... Pff, yeah, that's uh, th that's high. Even for somebody buying it for themselves, that's pretty high. Now, this one has some potential. Now, for me, there's not, much, not enough there, but... Should you be less worried about margins, £10, you could probably get 25 for that one. Musto Snugs jacket. Again, I've got a lot of stock, so I put it back. But um, yeah, there's, there's profit there. Now, I'm enjoying picking up these jeans recently because they seem to be selling well again. Uh, these were an older pair, but <laughs> yeah, at £20, that's pretty much eBay. They were pretty worn, um, and it wasn't just the design, they were pretty worn. I think they have a pretty small size as well. Yeah, look at that, 29 inch waist. That is mini, so 20 quid might even be a stretch on eBay, to be honest. Now, these night golf trousers, I've never done well with them. Six pounds is probably quite a good price, to be honest, if you're uh, buying for yourself, but I've never found they do that well, to be honest. Please let me know if you've had luck with these, but uh, yeah, I never have, so back they go. Now, what, what was this one? Oh, yeah, just a plain ombro tracksuit top. Nice sort of repeat logo down the sides, but new age, no no age to it at all. And they want 20 quid for it. I, I think they just got on eBay and looked at the first listing of some brand new thing. Mental. Oh, so this was so good to be an awesome. Holbrook, Sweden. Picked one of these up the other week in my local town for £4.50. Listed it for 70 Oh, they've cottoned on. They've cottoned on. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Now, this one intrigued me. This is the vintage, I think, Pantera hoodie from their album Reinventing the Steel, which came out in the year 2000, I think. Now, in the shop, I wasn't quite sure if it was like a reissue or if it was original. So... As you can see, my local town is really, really hit or miss. Some of the shops price really high, some of the shops price really, really high, and some of the shops price, well, let's say they misprice things, and then I pounce. <laughs> but despite all what you saw in the footage, I did manage to find three things, two of which didn't even get on film because I don't know why. I don't know why. In fact, the first thing I'll show you, I didn't get on film because it was actually behind the till. Um, so I guess right place, right time again. And something that's quite close to my heart, so I was happy to find this. So, this is a Hot Wheels 100% uh, Ferrari Enzo from 2003. So it's got a bit of age to it. And it was... Ooh, on, it's a, on, let me move you over. It was £8. £8. You're thinking, okay, that's a good price. So... Um, Hot Wheels lost the Ferrari license for some reason in 2014 and ever since then they've become quite collectible or very collectible in some cases. This is obviously a larger model, um, say, like I said 2003 so nearly 20 years old. Should be hopefully about 40 quid for this believe it or not. Now it has been taken out, it has been displayed. 
There is some dust. There's a little bit of, tell you what, let me get out of the box and I'll show you. Because it's a lovely model. So I'm glad it does come in the original box because that does help with the, uh, the resale. But it doesn't come with the screws that attach it to the base. Let me show you it. So here we go. So still got the wing mirrors, thankfully. Both the doors still open with that issue, which is good. The front sort of, I don't know, luggage area, would you say? Luggage. Oh, I can't open it. <gasps> that was almost a disaster. Come on, there we go. So the front bit opens. As you can see, it's been, it's been displayed. There's some like dust bits. And most importantly, the rear engine cover, which is plastic. That's still there too. Only bit of damage I can see. There's a bit of damage to the uh, nose cone, I guess, there. So that's that. So I'll clean it up, get all the dust off. i say that should be about £40. There are plenty listed. Um, so I've got a bit of competition. But hopefully some good photos, good description. Be honest, get a look as good as it can. Find some screws to reattach to the base plate because for some reason it uh, didn't come with them. So the base plate's still attached to the cardboard surround with the tape. So get some screws for that and I'll keep dropping things. That'll be, that'll be uh, yeah, I'll display really well. So yeah, more than more than happy to find that. And say not something I've found out in the world before. Um, I was chatting to the lady on the, on the till and she said, oh, last week we had a load more of these. I was like, oh God, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. And, and oh, she said, she said like electronic gadgets. So I'm not quite sure what she meant, but she said, oh, we had stuff similar to that. So, but anyway, I was more than happy with that. Eight quid, hopefully about 40. Happy days. This next one, I don't think I got, on, no, I didn't, I didn't get some film. Um, Might keep it, but I might not. Let me just show you. So, at face value, there's not a huge amount going for it. It's this brown knitted jumper, but it is, I'll show you here, it's a bit of Quicksilver, a bit of vintage Quicksilver. So again, something that I enjoy finding, older surfwear, I'm trying to find the, there we go, the only bit of sort of branding thing outside of that little Quicksilver logo there. Does need a good deep bobble, um, it is pretty bobbly, so I'm sure the camera will pick up. Did pay up for this. It's in this. Uh, it's in the shop that's had a sort of refresh, whereby the, it used to be the cheapest shop in town. Now it's one of the more expensive ones. I don't know why they just price everything up and some things just sit there for months. But anyway, so it was ten pounds. It was ten pounds. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to lose any money on it. If I choose to sell it, I won't be making a huge amount. But I just you just don't find these things very often. The thing that intrigues me the most about this is the material composition. So this is made of 30% wool, 30% polyamide, 15% angora, and 25% silk. Thinking blimey, okay, that's quite the that's quite the combination. Um say so it's definitely vintage. I uh, maybe sort of early 2000s. I'm not quite sure, but say not, not a huge amount going for it. But a pretty cool jumper fits me fine, so I might keep it for a little bit and then offload it. We will see. But yeah, just cool to see. They had, they also had a Billabong jacket in the shop as well. It must be donated by the same person. But it it was literally just plain blue with a little logo, and they wanted twenty quid for that. I just thought, ooh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I've got enough coats anyway, but they just no. If it had a, like a big back print, I might have gone for it, but. Nah, bit cheeky. Anyway, find the day. This now, uh, here's the thing, here's my top tip for anybody sourcing, right? Occasionally, you'll be in a charity shop and there'll be another reseller in there. And I know this person's a reseller because I've seen them picking up things before. Never, ever, ever discount a rail or a tub or anything, just because somebody else has gone through it before you. Because they might have missed something. And I can't think of a better example than this. So I walked into the shop, just looking through some of the shirts, spun round, and I saw a chap. He had some mayor trousers in his hand, and he also had, I want to say like a Nike t-shirt, like a modern one. And then, what else did he have in his hand? Something else. And I, I've seen him 
so he picked things up before. I just thought, oh well, you know, fair play, he got that first, no problem. But never discount a rail. So once he'd finished and paid for his things, I went over to the t-shirt rail and started looking through. Oh, at the very end, at the very end, was this. Pantera. It's a metal band. Metal band from the sort of... Well, they started in the mid-80s, actually, as a, as a glam metal band. Then became a sort of more groove metal towards the... Or through the 90s. Um, yeah, good band. So this is, for their album... Reinventing the Steel, which came out in, I want to say, like the year 2000. Now, this is where it gets interesting. That Gildan tag dates it to about the year 2000. So this is an original, not reproduction, Reinventing the Steel Pantera hoodie. Right, okay. Now, it was... Four whole pounds. I can find nothing, not a single thing, not a single ounce of information about this on the internet anywhere. I can find um, tour t-shirts. I can find uh, t-shirts like commemorating the album with basically the album artwork on the front. But I cannot find a hoodie anywhere. There's, there's just nothing. So, I have no idea how I'm going to price this. I've, I suspect it's quite rare, all things considered, which is not a word I use very often, but I really think it is. It, I, think it's, I think this has got some, uh, this, this has got some potential. Um, it's, in, it's in reasonable condition. There's a couple of stains I might try and get out. The front print hasn't cracked too much. To be fair, even the rear print hasn't cracked too much. A little bit. A little bit. Try and get on camera. Not a huge amount. But this, I have no idea how to price this. I give it a wash. It's a bit got a few hairs on it. But where, how I price it, I don't know. The t-shirts are sort of doing a hundred quid. So, well, up to. So where on earth is that going to be? I really don't know. I really don't know. But I tell you what. I tell you what. Picking up band merchandise is probably one of my favourite things. That and outdoor clothing, because if I'm a band stuff, it doesn't matter what charity shop you're in, it's probably quite hard to price band stuff beyond what normal t shirts. Even on really expensive charity shops, which this one isn't, um, just like mid range, I've found things, band shirts and stuff, that have been priced at, say, Jack and Jones t shirts. So you might, might, might pay a fiver. Then they've been worth sort of 25 30. So, yeah, band t shirts, love them. I, I prefer picking up band t shirts of like certain prominence than football shirts. That's how much I enjoy picking them up. But yeah, this hoodie, given its age and, and what it is, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Might have to do some more, more research, but see, I can't find anything. So, yeah, that could be a really, that could be one of the best finds of the year. So, <laughs> mental. So, there we go. If you've seen another reseller, don't panic. They would have bought some things, but you might find some better things. You just don't know. Right, I'm going to show you some sales because I haven't done that in a very long time. Sales haven't been great for me recently, I will be honest. But I've had some good things sell recently um, that have given me some motivation to, like, you know, kickstart kick start my, uh, my enthusiasm for reselling. So a few things I've already sent off. Um, I sold this BMW umbrella that I bought from the car boot. Probably one of, the, one of the last car boots of the year, actually. Uh, paid eight pounds for this, brand new with tags, still with the original sheath. I paid, yes, I paid eight, eight pounds for this. That's gone for thirty pounds plus postage on an offer. Had it for thirty-five, took thirty. That's that's fine. Um, I've sold these uh, Russell and Bromley Chelsea boots. These actually fitted me, but I just didn't wear them. Um, I just not really my, my sort of style. Not that I've got a style anyway. But I paid two pounds for these. In a charity shop, um, I can't even remember where it was, but I was just like, wow, that's really cheap. These come for £43 plus postage on offer. Again, I'm up for 50 Somebody offered me 40 I came back with 43 because I was going to lower the price to 45 anyway. And yeah, they accepted, so that's really good. And I sold this Musto Performance. Um, it's like a duck down jacket. Ladies one, size... I can't remember now. 
Is it size 12? I've got the screenshot here, you can see. Um, that's gone for £35 plus postage, and that cost me £6 in a charity shop way back earlier this year. I've only got around to listing it recently. So, yeah, really happy. Nice, strong sales. Now, yesterday, one of my best days for sales in ages. So, I'm going to try and find what has sold and show you in person. So, be right back. So, with three pairs of trousers, I sold these Scotch and Soda Ralston jeans. Picked these up about a month ago in a local charity shop. Paid £5 for these. These have gone for £30 plus postage, so really happy with that because I did price them a bit higher. But yeah, they sold within about three weeks, so super happy. Sold these uh, Fat Face Chinos. I thought they'd do a bit better, if I'm honest. I have picked up a couple of Fat Face Chinos recently. I think they do about 20 quid, And I think unless you get a really good size, like a nice big size, like 34 leg, inside leg, sorry, and like a 38 uh, waist typically don't do too well so these were a 36 regular i believe um had them up for 18 took an offer yesterday of 15 pounds 50 plus postage it's okay but i'll know not to spend more than sort of three quid on them if i see them in the future and i sold these levi's a 721s i picked these up i picked these up i think these were from my glastonbury trip i did crikey about a month, month and a bit ago now Paid £5 for these, I believe. They've gone for £25 plus postage. So, yeah, pretty happy, actually. Um, they were in really good condition. Again, priced it at sort of higher end of what was listed. But good photos, good description. Just be super honest with what's wrong with them. In this case, there wasn't anything wrong with them. And, uh, yeah, they sold, so good stuff. But a few things I found I can actually show you in person, because those jeans and stuff are just buried in there somewhere um two sort of die cast based things so this is another one um that i bought in a job lot of sort of dinky things crikey probably half a year ago now at the car boot unbeknown that they had been restored or sort of you know customized so this is a little caravan um would have paid like 50p for it that's gone for six pounds plus postage it's not a huge amount i'm just glad to see it go but if you're going to take on board one bit of information from this video, let it be this. So this is a Hot Wheels four-lane foldable um, drag strip, I guess you could call it. So basically, these clasps unclip, it folds out, and you've got a, I think about six foot um, trackway where you can race four cars together. And there's a, do I get to open up for you? Okay, then let's, let's open up. It's, it's, it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So, cars race down, and you've got this. Oh god, you've got this finish system where first car finishes goes, boop, and it flips up and basically confirms the the order of them finishing. Pretty cool set. Pretty cool set. Uh, it's from 2006, so a little bit older now. But this is a proper proper bolo. Okay, so this is I picked this up at a car boot sale. Must be May time, I think. One of the last things I picked up that had been going for about a couple of hours. I don't know how I missed it. I honestly don't know how I missed it. So it's on a family stall. I think it must have been hidden by something else. So whether people other people missed it as well or they didn't know what it was, I don't know. But I paid two pounds for this, and that has just sold for seventy pounds. Plus postage seven zero. Now I know we are coming up to Christmas. These things really, really hold their value. Um, they don't make them anymore. I don't think they made them for in that sort of great a period back then. Anyway, they're super desirable. This one and there's another one that's more of a wavy assortment. I think that's a three lane one. That one doesn't do too badly. But this four lane one is, yeah, super super desirable. Just make sure if you do find one that all the clasps are there, they can break off. Make sure the legs, you'll see in the, in the photo I put on there, some like legs it sort of stands up on. Make sure they're present. Just make sure it's complete basically. And there's a little like um, um, finishing tabs are still there as well. If it is complete, yeah, easily £70 plus postage. Hasn't taken too long to sell either. A couple of weeks. So super, super happy with that. I'm going to wrap it up proper. 
get it posted out. Somebody's going to be really happy. It could be a Christmas present, but somebody's going to be super happy with that. I'm super happy that I, I've made about 55 quid profit after fees and tax. So awesome, 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 awesome. And I think I'll leave you there. So thank you so much for watching. Um, try to make this video a little bit shorter because I know my last one was a feature length film. So if you have liked what you've seen, please do drop a like, please do drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, why not? Please do. It's worth your time, I promise you. So thank you so much. Take care. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.